Santa Barbara City Council Finance Committee will now come to order. Are there any members of the public wishing to speak on items not on today's agenda? Seeing none, let us move on to our first item. Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. We have just one item today. Um, this will be should be a brief item, but we thought it was important for the committee to um, consider our recommendation that we're taking to council today, um, and that is to modify the existing promissory note we have with the airport to lower the interest rate in light of the changes in the interest rate environment relative to when the, what the interest rates were when we first executed this promissory note. Um, so Jeannie Wilson, our treasury manager, she's going to uh, go over the, our recommendation. Ms. Wilson. Thank you, and good afternoon. Um, you have before you tonight, or today, the action for a promissory note. Um, as Bob mentioned, this note was entered into back in July of uh, 2009. Um, the note was, the, the general purpose of the note was for the construction of a joint use rental car facility at the airport. Um, this provided the financing for the airport to build a facility in advance of the construction of the new airport, which was financed with tax exempt bonds. And so what this did was it accommodated the construction schedule of the airport. It also simplified the financing since this would have been a taxable bond issue, not a tax exempt bond. And it also provided a secure investment for the city's investment portfolio. Um, since that time, um, when the note was issued, it was issued at uh, $7.3 million for a 20 year term. And the rate was established at 7%. At the time, taxable bonds were in the range of just slightly above actually 7%. So this also afforded the airport a very good interest rate um, and it um, was held in the city's investment portfolio. We're in a different interest rate environment and recently with the um, refinance of, uh, of some additional bonds, it was noted that the interest rate envi environment for even taxable bonds is closer to the three and a half, four percent range. So um, the city is bringing forward a recommendation to amend the note more in, in like with that same range at 3.5 percent or the LAFE rate, whichever is higher, but in no event higher than nine percent for the remaining term of the note, which is 16 years. Uh, the current balance of that note is $5.3 million. Uh, the rate is comparable to taxable bond issues um, in the market right now. Uh, the reduction, however, does reduce interest to the investment portfolio in this coming year, about 195000 The general fund's uh, percentage of that is in the range of sixty dollars to $44,000. And that's essentially the information. Okay. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. All right. Mr. White, you have a question? I do. Thank you. Um, is the note... The current note callable in any way? Is that the, the promissory note and investment wasn't specifically structured as, as a callable. Um, you want to elaborate on that, Bob? But the, certainly the, the airport, if they had the funds, they could prepay this. There's no prepayment penalty. Prepayment. So while there's no call provisions, the airport, I think, at the discretion could pay this off earlier than the 20 year term. Okay. And is the airport in a financial position to be able to do that? I'll let Hazel Johns, but I don't believe so. Whatever reserves they have available, I don't think they, they, they get to this $5 million range, but I think those reserves are for capital purposes, and I, I don't think it would be strategic for them to use those funds to repay the debt. Um, I, I guess I'm, I want to talk. Oh, about. sure, so please. The, the, so the, the thought here is this is a, a fairness issue. Is that is that what we're... Yeah, sure, absolutely. I think it's a, an equity issue. I, you know, the, the fact is that if, although there might be some transaction costs on top of that, but when this first came up, if the airport wanted to go on and, and sell taxable bonds, the, the rate that they could achieve right now in the market, or at least been a few months ago, was a 3.5%. And um, we've been enjoying a, a pretty good arbitrage on this because obviously this is, at least the city has in terms of the interest rate environment, Interest rates have been low for a couple, several years now, mm -hmm. but the airport has continued to pay the 7% rate. Um, the reason we kind of established at least a recommendation to say it's 3.5%, but it's still going to tie, be tied to LAFE. LAFE right. could go back up, and LAFE typically is, historically has been in the 5 to 6% range, so at least we're protecting our, 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 our yield on this by not locking it into 3.5%, but letting it float with the LAFE rate. Right now, LAFE is about 0.24% right. or 2-3%, so it's very, yeah. la very low. But Virtually yeah. zero. Virtually zero. Um, yeah, and then um, and three and a half percent is on the high end of what the city is receiving uh, on its loans yes. at this point. 
Correct. And that, so that even though we're taking a cut, we're still uh, getting uh, a return that's that's on the high end of, of the range of, of investments, of, uh, investments that we have. Absolutely. The, okay. the only thing I would add is just to make sure we have an apples to apples comparison, the remaining term is 15 years. We are not, uh, other than uh, unless the council specifically allows us to do so, we don't invest in anything beyond five years. So we're limited by our own policy without council approval. And in the five-year range, if we were to go out that far, we would be looking at a 1.3, 1.4% rate of return. So we couldn't buy anything comparable to 3.5% right now within our current policy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sure. Mr. Samario, if, uh, if we weren't to do this, what, what other alternatives would the airport have? I don't know. I don't want to speak for Ms. Johns, but I think that they would just continue to pay the, the current rate, and I'm not sure they're in their position, as I said, to, to prepay it. So they'd have to live with a 7 percent interest rate. Or sell taxable bonds. Or, or sell taxable bonds. Okay. All and right. I, you know, with, for $5 million, you know, that tends to be kind of the threshold. At what point do, you, do the financing costs become a little bit too much for, for going out and selling bonds? Um, Five million is again the, the transaction cost may make it not practical, but that certainly is an option. Okay, thank you. All right, if there are no further questions, is there an action I didn't bring we need to recommend it if we're okay. Well, I would move okay that, that the finance committee recommend uh, the staff recommendation to council. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.